Salut à tous les amis, on est de retour pour la suite de cet épisode 4. Donc c'est parti, let's go Alors... Ouais... Ouais... Voilà C'est parti Rational and open. I spent my whole life swimming in lies. Emma, what a bloody mess. I've been completely manipulated. I feel like I know nothing. That I have to learn everything all over again. I'm a demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse. Frankly, I, I feel like I'm cursed. I hope I'll be able to control this new skill, otherwise my life will be hell. Damn it, what a mess. Come on, man up, Louis. I'm still the same old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. And this father, I know nothing about. Yes, I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in. Nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way of being alone for a minute. Okay. Sir Gregory? day, Louis. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. <coughs> I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing, but you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. <coughs> okay. How many of us are there in the family? We are eight brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. They're just bodies. Well, tell me then, are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven. But we are the oldest, and therefore the most powerful. How long has our family been in existence? We have been here since the very beginning. What do you mean, exactly? Are you trying to get information from me? Uh, I, no, not at all. I, I was just wondering why that particular question seemed to disturb you. Uh, let us not insist, then. You yourself weren't very convinced by the question, it seems. Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course. When you are ready, they created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. What's Lord Mortimer's problem? I think he allows himself to be devoured <coughs> by a need for... Recognition. Has he always been like that? More or less, but thinking about it, I believe that the birth of our latest sibling greatly accentuated his discomfort. I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand, regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself, 
is his position with regard to mankind. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently, and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destinies? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you, <coughs> less from William. The main thing you're lacking <coughs> is time. Man is transient, and one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. On the other hand, we are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Hmm. Well, indeed, from that point of view, it is better to... To guide them. It's rare for a novice demon to manage to stop thinking like a man so quickly. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we dominate most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. Are you trying to warn me that I'm in danger? That, Louis, will be up to you to choose. Most of all, make sure you don't pick the wrong side. William has had all the time he needs to think about this. You do not. I'm sorry to say that this first choice might well be of capital importance to your future. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say, and then think it over very carefully. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. Okay. Ah, ok, on va aller dans son bureau. Toujours à faire passer le balai celui-là. Qu'est-ce qu'il voulait lui Pas plus celui-là. Je sais pas c'est quoi, il y a un bug là où je sais pas ce qui se passe. On t'entend pas mec Il est en silencieux, lui. Alors, où est-ce qu'il est, lui Il est là. 
Louis, I was sure you would stay. I'm proud of you. You've made the right choice. You must have been disappointed not to have been able to speak to Sarah one last time. I would have liked her to tell you herself. Well, I guess I'll never know now. True. Even so, there is one more thing I haven't told you about her. Sarah was my daughter. What? But why didn't you tell me the truth about her? I thought that might be too many truths to absorb at one time. I intended to tell you afterwards. You were in a hurry, so I made a decision. You've been able to understand and choose for yourself. How do you feel? <sighs> Hard to say. Confused about everything? I have to admit, it's, it's been a lot to take in in such a short amount of time. What could be more normal? It may have been a bit brutal, but you've just grown <coughs> in a very short space of time. From now on, you can influence your own future. I will guide you. We've all the time we need. You're not the first to make me that offer. What do you mean by that? Your brother, Sir Gregory. Gregory. Why am I not even surprised? What did he say? Not much. He bid me welcome to the family, that's all. <laughs> Louis, Gregory is my brother. Always has been. And he never goes anywhere to say or do not much. He must have told you that he's worried about me, that he wants to be there for you, and that you ought to be wary of me. Yes, something like that. According to him, the family is a prickly subject for you. He exaggerates. I don't have problems with all our family, far from it. I admit I find it difficult to follow the path set out before me sometimes. I don't share their vision, and they don't understand me. They find you unstable. I don't impose anything on anyone. I'm just following my own path. But where does it lead? Hmm. I, I suppose I should explain. For centuries now, demons have emerged in and around great leaders all over the world. But, like true tyrants, they have governed with an iron fist in a studded glove. That's the impression I get. But you see, people's discontent is increasing, and they are too high up to hear it. They take themselves for gods. Sooner or later, the people will turn against us, just as they have in the past. Each time it's happened, many of us have died. We must master the humans, yes, but gently. And the best way of doing that is by allowing them a free choice, Louis. You really are trying to liberate men. Of course, not entirely, no. It is easier to keep control over people who slumber <coughs> than people who are oppressed. A man with nothing to lose is a dangerous man. Whereas, if you give him a roof, food, and entertainment, he will do whatever you want. The best way of getting them to achieve something is to make them think it was their idea. For that, they have to feel as if they are free. Hang on. What do you mean? Look at the United States. From the start, I introduced an idea that will change everything. The idea that everything is possible. Everyone can become someone. Is there anything more beautiful? You mean it's not true? Man can move mountains when he believes it is in his own interest. And what nobler cause is there than his own freedom? Do you have any more examples? Of course. Talk to me about slavery. Well, take the slave trade, for example. It's an archaic practice that simply has to stop. Today, black slaves of America work for free and in unbearable conditions. Tomorrow, if you free the blacks and offer them work along with a salary, they will bless you for it. Then, they will be integrated into the system. They will be taxable. Once they are free, they will have to work for a roof, pay taxes, and feed their families. Maybe we could take away the civil rights of prisoners, for example. In this way, we'll keep control of all those who respect the system and benefit from the others as workforce. Tell me what you think about progress. Progress is essential, Louis. It's the future. What else? Progress, 
must liberate humanity from burdensome chores. Progress must replace man wherever his presence is not obligatory. It creates both the desire and the need. It will liberate women as soon as the machines are able to do all the chores in the home automatically. It will bring men together by bringing a faster means of locomotion. Look at the cultural revolution that printing brought about. And what would you propose for women? They must be given the right to work and to vote. Look, at the moment they don't work. They take care of raising children. What a mistake. We have to get them out of the house. Make them work. In this way, not only will they become consumers, but they will also delegate the job of education to the system. We could guide humanity from a young age, Louis, don't you see? Today we are wasting too much time. What obscurantism? By harping on this concept of good and evil, guilt and redemption, look where men are now, locked up in beliefs that should no longer exist. It's time for men to rediscover themselves and to take control of their lives, as they really are, without any moral judgment. But the most important of all has already been laid. The foundation stone. Freedom of speech. The first amendment of the Constitution. There must be opponent <coughs> to every project. So, above all, don't develop a one-track approach. Otherwise, man won't have enough room for expression to feel free. If man sees his chains, he will only want to break them. If we give men the feeling that they are free, I am convinced that they will exceed their limits. And it is only from that condition that humanity shall rise up. But. Do you want to dominate or raise humanity higher? I want it to advance. I want it to progress. Man is our vessel. If he progresses, then so do we. Wouldn't you like to know what we really are? Who do you mean? Demons? Yes, us. Our species. I've been searching for centuries, trying to find a way to explain the reason of our existence. But humanity has not yet evolved enough to make any progress on the subject. I am convinced that the sciences will bring that knowledge someday. So, that's your objective, is it? To understand who we are? I understand your goal, but the change you propose is not really a significant one. It is merely more smoke and mirrors. You must understand that we directly depend on men. Consequently, we have to do our utmost to help them progress and to prevent them from killing each other. And you think that's been a success? Humanity? It's almost always at war. And it's been this way forever. Look, I'm not saying that the task is easy. We've all had failures. And at times we have even suffered from conflicts on our own side. I'm doing my best to improve the situation. Our family clings to its privileges and to the past. And that's how they are putting us in danger. The time has come for change. Now that you know your true nature, there are still a few things I need to teach you. What do you mean exactly? A new skill, and not the least, Louis. It's about taking control of a person. How do you do it? It's an anima resonance. How it works is still a bit unclear even to us. Like a wave or a sound? That seems the most likely, yes. In my opinion, demons are capable of tuning their psychic frequency to that of others. That is why, for example, I tend to surround myself with deaf and dumb servants. The servants dressed in black. I infiltrated them. I opened a channel between them and me, and then I deprived them of speech and hearing. This way, no other demon can turn them against me. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. I thought I'd mix business with pleasure for this first time. What do you mean? <coughs> the conference will come. Ah, il faut aimer les amis, hein. Il faut aimer les générateurs, hein. Je dis c'est long. Il y a beaucoup de blabla. But it's time to make this happen. To make this happen, I would like Pianti to inform the Pope he has changed sides. Here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. 
And then? You're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Invade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. You're going to influence his actions and his psyche. Make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then, while speaking, you must link with him. Once you're done, you will naturally find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if mm -hmm. I fail? Trust in your instincts. You just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to the fore. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. Go now. The Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope, as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my propositions. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol to be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. Once it's written up, just bring it back to me, and I'll send it off immediately. All right, I'll take care of it. Eh ben, tout ça. Un gros blabla. Alors je vois s'il y a pas des petites choses à ramasser là. Peut-être on sait jamais s'il y a des. Il y aurait une confrontation quelque part, je sais pas. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight no, when you're still là. like a perfect grub, the worm before? Alors, allons sa chambre celui-là. Ah, oh, chaque fois je me trompe de touche. Washington, machin. Et là. Ouais, il faut que je fasse tout le tour. Ah, c'est le qui est en face. Ah non, c'est celle-ci. brings you back to my chamber. May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm going to pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. Mm -hmm. What exactly is your role with regard to the Holy Father? What? What on earth is he playing at? It's coming. You're a cardinal in Pictori. Why don't you admit it? Impertinent little brat. Louis, I don't find this conversation in very good taste. All right, it's coming. Come on, Giuseppe, let me in. What? <coughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, I've done it. Damn it! He was right. Oh, j'ai vu un symbole chelou là. Just crazy. I can't believe it. Il y a des symboles sur la main. Look at yourself, Louis. Better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. It's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with it and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Alors. 
On dire les lettres sur le bureau. Écrire le contenu de la lettre et réécrire le code, je vais dire le bon ton. Alors. Alors, mais t'as pas un... Ok, et l'autre Est-ce que j'écris celle-là ou pas Right. Let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discuss Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It turns out, now that I'm here, that I find Lord Mortimer's projects grant us many more advantages in comparison to what Sir Gregory had suggested. We are talking about the future of the Holy See. Hmm, there. That should be enough to justify the change of vote. Ok. Ensuite, écrire le code. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today the date is 24 janvier 73. Alors euh... Alors EF HBCF, c'est quoi ça Je sais pas. Est-ce que j'écris la même chose Today the date is 2401-1793. Today the date is 2401-1793. Qu'est-ce que je dois faire? Today the date is 2401-1793. Alors là. Alors E H H B C F et là G J G H F. Oh là là, qu'est-ce que je dois écrire? 17 janvier et là c'est le 31 décembre. Euh... Today the date is 2401-1793. Mm -hmm. Today the date is 2401-1793. 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 Today is the Je 
pense que ça devrait l'être. Hein. Your eminence, all ready to send. What's he doing here? Damn it! That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. Oh But merde! He can't hear us. What's going on here, Piaggi? The old goat is going to drop us. It's a lousy turncoat. Well, he'd better not tell me he just fell asleep. Off. Un calmant, ça m'étonnerait. La fatigue, non. Just calm down. Ouais, calm là. down. Louis came to see me because he claimed he was hearing voices. We've just finished an exorcism session. An exorcism? <laughs> you had hey, it done? I can't see any of those exorcism instruments. That's because I just put them away. I don't know what you're up to, Piaggi, but I do know you're trying to pull one over on me. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is, and there he stays. <laughs> The perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Why not? Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? I am certain that Sir Gregory would be opposed. You know nothing. I know Sir Gregory better That's than... That's against the rules of the conference, Monsieur von Volner. I refuse to go against Sir Gregory. Right. Monsieur von Vaughn, I always act bon, in the best bon interest défendre. of all. Définis. I assure you, everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. He is capable of reporting me to Sir Gregory. Uh, I'm really risking my neck here. If you lay a finger on him, I'll denounce you to Sir Gregory. I'm warning you. You old wizard. Ouf. Very well. Putain, chaque fois c'est sur le fil, hein. C'est un truc de ouf. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Chaque fois c'est sur le fil, c'est quand même dingue. Hein. There, Mortimer's waiting for you in the red salon. Ok. Ok, on va aller dans la salle à manger. Elle est où déjà cette salle à manger là Tic 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 tic, elle est là. Ouais. Je pense qu'il faudra descendre. Faut que je récupère des petites choses là, hein, parce que là sinon ça va être... Euh... Ça va être la merde si j'ai encore une, co une autre confrontation. Hein. Ouais. Ça je m'en fous. Oh, on va descendre par là. Ah, à chaque fois je me trompe. Ouais, 
sur le manger de par là. Est-ce qu'il y aurait des petites choses à ramasser ici À part m'asseoir ici, non. Oh, oh je m'en fous des pièces de collection. C'est par là. Bon, on y va. <rire> non, ça on l'avait déjà vu. Ok, on y est. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Est-ce que je peux ouvrir un truc là? Ah, enfin. Ouh. All right, I've retrieved everything. Ouais. Ça m'avance à rien. So, Louis, what was your first time like? Bewildering, isn't it? Here's your letter. I have to admit, the experience was utterly amazing. Come, tell me more. Uh. Well, honestly, I... My stomach was just turning in circles. <laughs> that reminds me of my first time. Ooh, but you did it. Gregory, what can I do for you? I just come to make sure dear Louis has all the information he needs. Needs for what? You are free to make your own choices, William. I would like the same for him too. There's nothing I want more, Gregory. Your schemes will lead to your demise, brother. Don't involve Louis. He has nothing to do with all this. The end of the conference approaches, and this masquerade will soon <coughs> be torn asunder. Don't drag him down with you in your disgrace. Oh, ye of little faith. On the contrary, brother, Louis has just entered the family. Give him a chance to find his place. His place? What place is that? At the end of a leash, like all the others. Don't listen to him. <laughs> He's angry with our father. And with good reason. He governs us in the same way he governs humanity. Through fear and submission. Same old tune. When will you understand that it's necessary to impose order for things to move forward properly? You are under his thumb and proud of it. Open your eyes for crying out loud. His whole system has become outdated, and he's too old to see it. He will lead us to our demise. Here he goes with another of his grand speeches. <coughs> William has always been fond of staging big scenes. It's his theatrical side. No. Does he have an inferiority complex? I've told him time and time again, Louis. He always has to take it one step too far. How dare you? <laughs> you are blind, brother. Even if the evidence bit you on the nose, you still wouldn't see it. I feel sorry for you. Tea is drunk hot or not at all, William. When will you learn? It's too bitter. You shouldn't let it brew so long. I knew you'd be coming along. You are so predictable. Methodical, I would say. Things must be accomplished in the right order if we want the world to keep turning as it does. You came here to warn me, sir. No, to advise you. Advise me against my father. Why? I think you are capable of deciding you for- You haven't answered my question. 
Why warn me against my father? What are you afraid he will do to me? Well, I wouldn't want him to lead you into... I don't know what absurd adventure in you which... You act as though I were in danger. I agree with Louis, Gregory. You're trying to pass me off as a villain about to devour him. That's not funny, William. I won't let him follow you. You see, Louis, Gregory came here to make you change your mind. It's time for things to change. I acknowledge Father has done many good things for humanity, but his time is over, and now he must pass on the torch. That's enough. There, Louis. That's the pathetic example your father has to offer. I really am sorry about what happened to you. You don't know our family yet. We can't have given you a very good impression, but bear in mind that we are all <coughs> against William's project. On the contrary. If he insists on going through with it, we will have no other choice than to intervene by force. Consequently, my dear Louis, you're going to have to choose sides. I would much rather have met you in different circumstances. There you are, Louis. See what happens when you don't follow their orders to the letter. Louis, I'm afraid the time to decide is now. Oh no. <coughs> J'aime pas faire des choix. If you follow William, he will drag you down with him. If, on the other hand, you support me, I can assure you that nothing will happen to you. You will be blamed for your father's errors. Ah, the masks are off. I offer you liberty. He obliges you to choose. And shamelessly asks you to betray your own father. That is their true face. Right. Before I answer, well, I better think it over very carefully. Do I intend to embrace my demon nature and take my place on the chessboard? Do I stay out of it and do my utmost to stop them? Or do I renounce my nature and do all I can to stay human? Uh, I'm a man. I was born a man. I, I grew up as such. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I refuse to let them manipulate humanity the way they do. They're gonna ask me to choose between them. I'll just have to go with the lesser evil of the two. <coughs> Le moins pire des deux. Better not count on me to keep my word. I'll bring them all down. So? <coughs> what do you choose, Louis? Oh la 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 Ah, oh, je sais pas. <rire> je fais quoi <rire> Je sais pas. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Ah, oh, purée, j'aime pas les choix comme ça. J'ai envie de savoir ce qu'il va me dire, lui. Parce qu'il me dit, méfie-toi du père parce qu'il va m'entraîner dans ma chute. Mais lui, en même temps... Ah, putain. Allez, va allez, va allez. Father, I'm sorry, but if I'm going to follow my instincts, I can't in good conscience follow you. What? But I hope you won't take it personally, but I prefer to support Sir Gregory. Very well. You have made your choice. It's time we finished what we started, brother. The final vote of the conference over the acquisition <coughs> of Diana will take place in a few hours. I propose you gather your troops prepare to close the debate that's precisely what i was going to suggest aïe 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 je sais pas si j'ai fait le bon choix well my friends here we all are <coughs> <coughs> the duchess met the us? no she's resting in her room don't worry the confidence uh, can be mortes. now we all know the tensions have been running high but now it's not the moment to give in I really don't understand why Lord Mortimer insists. Yes, indeed. It will only take one of you opposing his project to win the conference. But I would rather have us united until the end. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning. <sighs> ah, la, 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 la. Ok. Ah, 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 ah. 
Ok. Bon. C'était la fin de ce épisode 4. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Like et partagez, abonnez-vous. On se retrouve très prochainement pour le dernier épisode de l'aventure lors d'une prochaine vidéo. Et donc, ça sera pour la semaine prochaine. Allez, à la prochaine. Ciao, bye bye.